Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use one very very useful tool for policy generation in AWS. But first, if this is your first time in the channel, I'll invite you to take a look on the playlist where you will find a lot of free tutorials for Docker, AWS, Jenkins, Terraform, Ansible, SonarCube and more. Ok, if you go to your browser and type AWS Policy Generator and hit enter, you will get this link as a first result probably. And this is the tool that I mentioned. This is a very useful one. First you need to select the policy type. In our case for this demo, uh, we are going to use the IAM policy. The IAM policy. Ok, then we need to add the statements. First we can select the either the, the allow or deny effect for the policy um, I will recommend to select the allow one to allow any specific action because by default in AWS all actions are denied, are blocked so we need to explicitly say what are we allowing for our policy ok, for the AWS service I'm going to use S3 as a sample and here one thing that I want you to notice is the all actions button or, or option here for services and for actions. I will not recommend you to use this one because it is not a best practice to grant all permissions for a user, a role or, or any, any keys or something like that because you, you can think that it is a very secure a very problematic uh, is a, a security risk if you assign all permissions to one entity what happens if that entity for for a mistake uh, th they can delete all your EC2s tools or worse all your buckets or EBS or you will lose your data you don't have backups or you do you can delete backups either that's a, a very problematic thing so I will I will you I, I will recommend you not to use the, the star or the all actions on any policy. Then for this we need to select the actions. Now I'm, I'm going to create a policy to read and write buckets and objects, but not for creation and not for delete. So here is the create job, sorry, the create bucket. We are not going to select that one we are not going to select delete bucket neither ok then first thing that we are going to select is the get object action here get object then list bucket to list everything in our account and then we need to specify put object oh, where is it here put object ok here it will uh, we can restrict where this policy will work or not in this case we can specify an ARN if we already have a bucket created we can take that from the properties tab here go back to the policy generator and paste the Amazon resource name I'm going to add the statement and as you can see this is a let's say a summary for our policy where it's listed the effect which is allow all the three actions that we already select select and the resource the ARN okay but well I can generate the policy right away as you can see here is a JSON uh, JSON document but what happens if we we need to create more policies we can create one by one but we can also create uh, one policy for many services in this case I can change the service to let's say easy to also select the actions I'm going to select some random actions uh, cancel something copy image copy snapshot create fleet okay then I'm going to let this for all all easy tools and I can add this statement and as you can see here it added a new one 
this is a difference uh, between the S3, S3 policy and the EC2 one because in the S3 we are actually specifying a resource to only affect one bucket but in the EC2 we are specifying the star or, or the asterisk to affect all the EC2s. This can be very useful if you have, a, let's say, a, an admin, an admin keys where you need to specify this policy and this these keys will be able to manage all your EC2 fleets. So you need to you can do this. You you can uh, grant the resource as a star to to allow this resource either the user the role or the keys to manage all the ec2s entirely uh, next i'm going to select another service uh, let's say dynamodb for instance and i'm going to select create backup create table describe limits and something with kinesis also i'm going to use the star sign and add this statement finally i can generate the policy here is one policy with three services. You can add more services if you need. Here, the first one is the S3. Here in the action, you will see the, the service name, S3, colon, and the action. Same for EC2 and same for the, the other one, the DynamoDB in this case. Then you can copy right away the JSON document and put it where you need it. This is the very easiest way to generate AWS policies that I found until this moment. And okay, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it and please subscribe to the channel. Let me know your comments. Thanks.